Hello guys. Have you had a wonderful day? And how how do you feel? Happy, sad, mad, glad? Or anything and comment on the below's in in the section below. What are you feeling today? And today we're gonna read Little Red Riding Hood by Lorena Alvarez. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She loved how her ruby red cloak swished and swayed as she skipped around her bedroom. <gasps> little Red Riding Hood lived by a creaky old forest where her mother kept bees and her father chopped down trees. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother gave her a pot of honey. Will you take this to Grandma? Birds swooped and chirped as Little Red Riding Hood skipped happily to the trees. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood, called her father, but someone else was watching her too. A wolf! The wolf licked his lips and wagged his tail as he thought about eating Little Red Riding Hood for lunch. He could have followed her and gobbled her up, but this was a cunning and crafty wolf who loved to sneak around and set clever traps. Snickering and snarling, the wolf laid a large net on the path between the trees. His tail twitched as Little Red Riding Hood skipped closer and closer and skipped right over the net. Mumbling and muttering, the wolf dug a deep hole and covered it with sticks and leaves. His eyes bulged as Little Red Riding Hood skipped closer and closer and skipped right over the hole. The wolf had one last plan. Grinning and giggling, he crept to Grandma's cottage and knocked on the door. Rap, rap! He waited and waited, then gobbled up Grandma in one hungry gulp. Delicious! The wolf chortled. Now for the main course! The wolf's grin grew wider as he pulled on to on Grandma's clothes and leaped in into her bed. I'm so crafty, he chuckled. I am the cleverest creature in the forest. He waited and waited until Little Red Riding Hood skipped into the cottage. Hello, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. I bought you some honey. Little Red Riding Hood came closer. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big hairy hands you have. All the better to hug you with, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood stepped back. Um, Grandma, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, Star the Wolf. Hooting and howling, the greedy wolf burst from the bed and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood in one enormous gulp. With a full tummy and a happy smile, the wolf fell into a deep and dreamy sleep. He didn't see Little Red Riding Hood's father at the window with a mighty roar. 
Little Red Riding Hood father stormed into the cottage. He chopped open the wolf's tummy and Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma came tumbling out. Now Grandma had a cunning and crafty plan too. Little Red Riding Hood gathered stones from outside and dropped some into the wolf's tummy. Then Grandma searched his tummy up. When the wolf woke, he howled and howled and howled again. Each time he moved, the stones rattled inside him. Inside him. I'll never be able to sneak around and set cunning traps, he moaned. As he fled back to the forest. Now all the wolf could eat were worms and beetles and snow slow with little bugs. He was never cunning or crafty again. Gotcha! And little red riding hood skipped all the way home. The end. If you like the story, please consider to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a nice day and wait with your family and see me on the next vlog. Bye!